This video is going to cover disassembly of a Ruger 1022. Disassembly is simple, but you do need some tools. You need a screwdriver to loosen the action screw and the barrel band. That lets you get the barrel and action out of the stock. You need a drift to take the uh, trigger assembly out of the receiver. And you need an Allen wrench set if you want to take the barrel off. The first order of business when you clean any firearm is to make sure that it's unloaded. So you take out the magazine and you open the bolt and make sure that the chamber is empty. Next step is to loosen the barrel band. Flathead screwdriver works for this. You want to get it real loose so that you can slide it off without marring your stock. Slide it out over the front sight and off. Then loosen the action screw here. This screw is captured so it won't come all the way out. You need to loosen it until the threads clear the receiver. Then push the safety half midway between safe and fire and lift the stock out. You'll mar your stock if you don't get the safety in the right position. There we have the barreled action. These two pins hold the trigger group in place. Sometimes the pins go out easier one way or another. Sometimes they're, they're in there quite strongly. Drop the bolt. This pin comes right out. If I recall, this one likes to go out the other way. Once the two pins are out, the, the trigger comes right on out. This is the buffer that stops the bolt from traveling rearward. This is a real common part to replace with uh, some sort of polyethylene, polyethylene plastic. Again, sometimes it goes out easier one way and sometimes you need to tap on it. Once you get the bolt pin out, next step is to pull the bolt rearward and then lift it up and out. The bolt spring and guide and handle rest in against the back part of the receiver on this ledge. You can lift those out now. To take the barrel off, just two Allen screws right here. This is a 532nd Allen head. Break the torque, unscrew these screws. They're actually quite long, the screws. This V-block holds the barrel in place. So it comes out and gently pull the barrel off of the shank and the action. Reassembly is just reverse. We'll go over that in the video. The only trick with getting the barrel on is making sure that the extractor on the bolt lines up. You'll have feeding problems if you don't get those lined up. Reassembly of the 1022 is fairly simple. You want to start with the bolt and receiver. First thing you do is you thread the carry the charging handle in and then pull back. This can be a little tricky. You want to pull back from the inside 
and then hold it from the outside. Take your bolt, wiggle the bolt into place, slide it down so it mates up with the carry handle. Then slide your bolt stop into place. If it doesn't fit one way, try the other way. And you can always tap it. You want to do the bolt first because you need to watch out for the extractor when you put the barrel in place. The only real trick with this is making sure that your extract that the extractor here meets up with the with the groove correctly. Once you have that in place, then you're you're fine. So we'll slide that in place. Take a look. Seems like we're hitting about center. This piece comes in and catches the dovetail. We've got two screws, very long screws. Want to snug those down. Of course, when you're snugging these down, remember you're snugging into a aluminum receiver, so don't go too hard on it. Otherwise, you might strip your threads. Sometimes you get a snug fit between the barrel shank and the receiver. I've heard of people having to take some emery cloth and whittle away at that. There we go. Now we're coming up. Before we cinch it down, though, I'm going to check again. I'm not sure I can get that, up, that part on camera. You can rotate it and feel. I'm hitting low, hitting high. There we go. We're centered up, did a visual check and we're centered up. Take a little bit of time, because if you don't get this quite lined up, you're going to run into feeding problems. Once you get the extractor and the extractor groove lined up to your liking, you want to tighten down, going back and forth. Snug, but not overly tight. Remember, the, the ejector here needs to be in the forward position. Watch out for this pen, which holds in your magazine release. You want to make it, it can slide out sometimes. Okay, we've got the barrel back on, the bolt back in, and the trigger housing back assembled. Let's get our barreled action back into the stock. Again, you need to remember to put the safety midway between safe and fire, otherwise it won't fit through the stock. Tighten down the action screw. Just like with attaching the barrel, you've got a steel screw going into an aluminum receiver. So you want it snug, but you don't want to you don't want to strip out your threads. And if you've got a carving, your last piece is the barrel band. Over the front sight, down into position. There we have it. Complete 
disassembly and reassembly of a Ruger 1022 carbine, including removal of the bolt. Thanks for watching.